hello guys yeah thanks for coming back to this channel if you're uh, a subscriber and if you're new here thanks uh, for coming subscribe to the channel and share the video to those who might need it so we're talking about the uh, the salt analysis for the wahek 2025 so we have made this to give us head up and to prepare us for the exam so these are the possible tests you might come across for the salt sample you are going to be given so we have uh the following test to be analyzed now so this video should not be used for any means of malpractice or uh any or any form of uh, uh examination malpractice so use it wisely now we have c plus distilled water so what you would notice is that the whole c will dissolve to form a blue solution so that shows that c is a soluble mixture of two compounds because uh, c is a mixture of two compounds because you would be having uh, the white and the blue type of substances mixed together now the second test is a uh, c aqueous which is c already dissolving water plus bacl2 that's barium chloride you would notice a white precipitate formed so once barium chloride is added to a solution and you form white precipitate so the likely ions to be present are co3 to minus so2 my so3 to minus and so4 to minus so then to confirm which of these ion it would be we have to add hcl that is why you are seeing the third test c aqueous plus bacl2 plus hcl so you discover that the precipitate does not dissolve in hcl so that makes it a so42 minus confirm sulfate ion is confirmed then you have another test that is c aqueous plus ammonia in drops so we see no visible reaction and we can conclude probably it would be cu2 plus ca2 plus and al3 plus that might be present then if you add this in excess you would see a deep blue solution that confirms copper however there is a missing test here that is when you add to the aqueous solution of c you add uh, sodium hydroxide you are going to see a, a deep blue gelatinous precipitate on the solution that also confirms copper then for the uh, last test here you have the failing solution where you have the failing a and b will be added to the aqueous c and you can heat that solution so you see a brownish solution from that confirms a reducing sugar in the mixture now take note um, the salt is a mixture of two salts is the mixture of two compound one an inorganic salt then one is an organic compound so uh, these are the likely tests you might have to come across and then these are the observation in each case and the inference thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel it's free thank you